Well, now we're at the Gordon Estate here in Dubbo, and this is actually where Peach's home used to be, where you grew up, hey, Peach? It is. This is where uh, I grew up when I was a uh, skinny little Koori kid over here in West Dubbo. No house here now? No, it's not. We as kids used to just come over here and kick the footy around and, and play footy. Is so. this where you practice your skills of kicking and jumping for the bomb and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, well, I was actually a 5'8", so the oh, fullback yeah? full role didn't come until Arthur Beeson took me down here, but this is where it all, all began for me. How do you feel coming back here? To actually just walk through here, it, it does. It, like you said, it brings back a lot of memories. I mean, as kids running around here, every morning walking across to the bus stop. And you played for the uh, Rabbitohs and the Sharks. When you were a kid playing here, who, who did you barrack? Tigers. Ah, yeah, why? So I, I love Wayne Pearce. OK, Peach, where are we? We are, Apex Oval Dubbo. And you played grand final days here? A lot of grand final How days How was here. that? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, for me to be a part of a rugby league team, which was South Dubbo Tigers, uh, from about under eights, right through to under 16s, and then winning an under 18s premiership here with Dubbo Macquarie, and then coming back here almost 15 years later to win a premiership with Dubbo Macquarie. So this place holds a lot of fond memories for me. Why did you get involved in barefoot? Because barefoot, to me, is about grassroots football. In terms of Aboriginal people, we had to leave our community to go down and play footy. And for all us that have left, there's been dozens that have been left behind. And that's fair to say, and for us to be able to, from a barefoot point, barefoot point of view, to go back out and be able to talk to those people in those communities. That many times I've got out of the car and kids are like, where's Peachy? <laughs> Peachy's not here, that's me! One of your favourite barefoot stories, which would be your favourite? Probably um, the Redfern, when, Red, when Redfern first opened, having a look. Back to so Redfern? Back to Redfern, having an association with the Rabbitohs. Can I tell you too, what was a highlight for me was at Ipswich last year, when we played tunnel ball and captain ball. TC, what do you make of that one, mate? To have a cast like we do, like you said, I mean, people behind the scenes, which has been fantastic. Mate, um, I think Brad's profile's just gone from a radio <laughs> host to a, a host of a TV show. I mean, he loves it, but I can see the passion that Brad brings to Barefoot. I mean, he's, um, he's, he's a fantastic host. But uh, the thing I know about Brad is that he, he knows a lot. He's an avid fan, and to be able to put him in front of a camera, that's where he works so well. And then you've got your Murray in a hurry that, mate, he brings the brains to it. I mean, he's the brains trust, and him and Brad work so well together. And, you just let me out live. I mean, that's that's the beauty of what I see in Barefoot. For me to be able to be out in the communities, uh, mix and mingle and talk with the mobs, that's something that I enjoy. And then to be able to get on there and just talk from the heart, talk about our brothers that are succeeding at the top level. But then on the flip side of that, for us to be able to come into communities and talk about where, where everything started. What I've learned the most from you is your honesty, even though sometimes not giving away too much. It's the pure <laughs> honesty, the strength of a black man, the determination, the love of your family, the, and the loyalty. And, and yeah, this guy's always looking out for me. We're just down the other place and there was a puddle and he said, Paula, watch out for that. <laughs> you know? It's a pleasure to be associated and work with and, have, and be friends with a strong, loyal Aboriginal man. And um, good luck, good luck, hey? Well, thanks, Peach. Thank you for um, showing me around Dubbo. Thanks for sharing your life with us here, not just me, but the Barefoot Rugby League viewers as well and the boys in studio. And um, I want to say thank you on behalf of the Barefoot Rugby League show for being part of our show, which is brand new. It's been a great honour working with you. Hopefully we'll come back and we'll, we will see more of you. Um, I don't have anything to give you because you just told us you were going, but this jumper <laughs> that you've already got, yes. um, please don't give it away. I won't. Uh, well, no with how, pride. How many people beg you, your brothers and your cousins and stuff? Yep. Um, so um, you always come back. But thanks, Pete. Hey? It's Not been the best. It's been the best. And for the Barefoot viewers that have enjoyed uh, myself as have I had for the last two and a half years, it's been uh, been something special. And to be able to bring you home to Dubbo and show yeah. you around, obviously on the banks of the Macquarie River, where uh, I spent a lot of fantastic times fishing and swimming. But um, on behalf of myself, thank you for giving me the opportunity thank to be Thank you, Peach. Thank you. Not a problem. <laughs>